Good morning, Kinder. It's time to do some science. And I thought that since we were studying letter J this week, we should do some of our core girl science. And this week we're going to be doing Jazzy Jet. So I'm going to read it to you. And as I'm reading it to you, I want you to listen for all the J words that you can write down because there's quite a few. And don't worry, you can always pause it and come back to this. But whoever finds the most J words... Um, and tells Miss Price how many there are, might get a surprise in the mail. So let's read our Corkles letter J. It's called Jazzy Jet. Jazzy Jet is the jolliest Corkle. She loves to tell jokes and has a jovial laugh. Jazzy Jet always wears jeans and a J jacket. She enjoys listening to jazz music while her jogs in Jackson Park. The thing Jazzy enjoys the most is studying jets and how they fly. She spends much of her time at Corkleville Airport watching the jets. One day in June, Jazzy Jet received a call from Mr. Joggles, the Corkleville Elementary Principal. Mr. Joggles was usually a very jolly gentleman, but not that day. He was jabbering very fast. Jazzy Jet, we really need your help. We have a gigantic problem at the school. A very special guest is arriving in just a few days from the jungle. His name is Jaguar Jed. Jaguar Jed wanted to learn how to make and fly paper jets. Jerry Jackrabbit and Jenny Blue Jay were given the job to design a paper jet that is aerodynamic. So far, they have just argued about whose paper airplane is the best, and we have a giant mess. Could you help us for just one day, asked Principal Joggles? Jazzy said, I'll be there in a jiffy. I can help Jerry and Jenny create a paper jet that is aerodynamic. When Jazzy arrived at school, Jerry Jackrabbit and Jenny Blue Jay were on the playground by the jungle gym. Your jet is a piece of junk, yelled Jerry to Jenny. Jenny yelled back, you're just jealous. My jet is the best. I'm being very kind. Jazzy Jet went over to the jungle gym to visit with Jenny and Jerry. How would you both like to go to Corkleville Airport and see the jets fly? Asked Jenny. Oh, asked Jazzy, sorry. Both Jenny Blue Jay and Jerry Jackrabbit jumped for joy. On the way to the airport, Jenny said, my jet is in the shape of a circle. I know it will fly far. Jerry laughed and said, you must be joking. A jet in the shape of a circle is not going to fly. My jet is a square. It will fly like a June bug in the sky. Jazzy Jet could not believe what she was hearing. A jet in the shape of a circle in a square? Weren't they both joking? When they arrived at the airport, they saw some giant jets taking off, and Jerry Jackrabbit and Jenny Blue Jay looked confused. The jets were not circles or squares. They were pointed in the front. Jazzy Jet explained that the air allows jets to fly. Jets have gigantic wings with a very special shape to keep them in the air. A jet can fly when the air below its wings pushes up harder than the air above pushes down. The nose of a jet is pointed and rounded so it can push through the air more easily. Jazzy, thank you so much. We've learned a lot about jets. We have hit the jackpot, says Jerry and Jenny jubilantly. <clears throat> the day finally came when Jed Jaguar arrived from the jungle. Jazzy Jet came to school to watch her friends Jed teach Jed about jets. Jerry and Jenny told Jed all about their trip to Corkleville Airport, and they made lots of different paper jets and tested them to see how far they could fly. They were all so excited, they did a jig. Mr. Joggles thanked Jazzy Jet for helping them. 
Jenny and Jerry by giving her a giant jar of jelly beans. It was a joyous day. See the jelly beans? The end. Oh wait, not yet. Wait, we're not done yet. Turn the page and allow me, follow me and there's still much more for you to see. So the challenge is, listen to me read the book, write the J words down, come up with a total and text me the total. If you're right, I'll send you a surprise in the mail. If you're wrong, no surprise. Now, go to the next video and you can watch the experiment.